Hi, I'm Derwin Calientes. At ako naman si Tene Rose de Andante. At kayo'y nanonood ng Mabuhay Montreal TV. Kaliwat kanan pa rin ang binibigay na fundraising ng ating mga kababayan para sa mga naging biktima ng Bagyong Yolanda. Tunghayan natin ang isang fashion show na ginanap kamakailan kasama si Cookie Esplana. Nangyari yan nung nagkaroon sa atin ng malaking baha na maraming namatay ng mga Pilipino. Diyan nagumpisa ang spirit man na parang nung tinanong nila ako na anong may tutulong nila sa atin, then they asked me na kung pwedeng mag-fundraising kami para makatulong sa mga Pilipino. So, hindi naman ako nagdalawang salita, pumayag ako kagad. So I told them, okay, the only help I can give is to use all my clothes, my collections, my uh, merchandise for them to use in modeling and on fashion show that they're gonna do. Do you have any message for our kababayans in um, in the Philippines who got affected by typhoon? Ang magagawa ko lang, yung masasabi ko sa kanila. Kung halimbawa, at, mm, kasi may another plan si Don na hindi nga kami naging successful ngayon masyado. Kukunti ang tao. She is planning for another events to give more help to the Filipino. Ang pagkakaiba ba ng kultura o lahi ay isang hadlang sa relasyon o pagmamahala ng dalawang tao. Panoorin po natin ang kwento ni Michael to give us a look of interracial relationship. Um, Oo oh, naman po, um, as long as nagkakaintindihan sila at maganda yung ugali nila, maganda yung pagsasamahan nila. Uh, no. Kasi mas prefer ko ang Pilipino kasi uh, the same culture, mas nakakaintindihan kayong dalawa. Not unlike sa, sa puti, um, different culture. So you need adjustment sa adjustment. So I prefer Pilipino in that case. Yeah. Siyempre, so it... I wouldn't mind because you know, Filipino or not, it's it's not it's not about the race. It counts more about the love. So yeah, I wouldn't mind. Ah po, kasi pa yun naman po tayo lahat ng ibig. Sure, kasi hindi naman sa kulay yan, hindi naman porket iba ang kulay mo or or iba yung yung culture mo. Kailangan pwede pa rin yung kung mga ano tayo, kung mga free country na pwede mong gawin ko ng gusto mo. Kailan kung bakit nag-aasawa ng hindi kalahi ang mga Pilipino? Una, ang Pilipino ay nanggaling din sa iba't ibang lahi o mixed heritage. Isa pang dahilan ay ang pagkakaroon ng karangasan o exposure ng mga Pilipino sa iba't ibang kaugalian at kultura ng ibang lahi. Ganun pa man ay masasabing hindi ganong kadali ang magkaroon ng relasyon lalo na kung ang kulturang pinanggalingan ay magkaiba. Kung kaya't Inalam ko ang pagsasama ni Romel na isang Pilipino at ni Vicky na isang Canadian. When and how did you meet? Uh, we met, uh, it was a blind date. Well, we were set up by a uh, lady. Yeah. 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 I worked with her. She knew Romel since uh, he was little. Oh. And, uh, so I was uh, living in an apartment and uh, I received this message from my mom's friend saying, uh, Romel, I have a girl for you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> 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 you know, uh, Tito Melanie. 
Um, so basically, she, uh, she gave me the number, uh, Vicky's number. Yeah. And then I uh, called her up to see if she went to uh, go on a date. What are some of the biggest challenges you had to face being in an interracial relationship? None. None? Like, here? <laughs> no, nothing. It's, it's, it's pretty not easy, really. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being in an interracial relationship? So the advantage, I would say, the children. The kids <laughs> are cute. <laughs> the cute kids. Um, the food, the culture, learning about a different culture, which always was very interesting to me. And uh, disadvantage? I don't, I don't really no. see any... Uh, you no, know, it's all good. It's, <laughs> it's not as if we, you know, uh, especially in Canada here. Um, yeah, it's not like we live in the, the and, 70s or 80s or yeah. anything. <laughs> Nobody really know. looks at you and says, what's, what's going on there? So it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. What was your family's first reaction? Uh, well, my aunt thought he was really cute. <laughs> and my dad was interested in the culture. Do you believe your life would be different in any way if your spouse was of the same race? Yes. How so? Because um, a lot of different races, maybe they're set in their ways so much and they don't, uh, they're not flexible. And I found that, well, Ramel and I are very similar, even though we come from two different backgrounds. We have exactly the same kind of values and the same kind of... Uh, oh, mentality. Really. Mentality, yeah, like, so... Very even if, it, yeah, I don't know. No, I think life would have been different had it been, even in maybe another Filipino. It's just, <laughs> what advice would you give to couples in interracial relationship? I, I think it's important to be flexible in accepting their culture, their ways of life, and uh, uh, and then accepting yours. And yeah, so, vice versa. So yeah, and also uh, just just trying to be yourself, and uh, you know, not not trying to change too much of who you are. Um, just project that. And also to like encourage any kind of, uh, because I mean, he's from the Philippines, we live in Canada, so anything that he wants to do to make himself feel more Filipino is welcome. <laughs> like, yeah, so, you know, more adobo. So stuff. like rice for <laughs> breakfast, he feeds <laughs> rice to the kids for breakfast, that's okay. What have you learned being in an interracial relationship? Well, you get to visit. Uh, yeah, you get to travel, you see this country um, really meet the people that are that are living there as opposed to the ones that are living here so it's a little different um, a little bit of the language well speaking of learn now I want to test whether you've actually learned a lot from Romel okay are you up for it absolutely awesome bring it so you are <laughs> I'm gonna give you two points for every product that you have tried or you're familiar with okay. all right so there you go. There this you is go. the first one. <laughs> oh, I've had this before. It's like a little dessert. Yeah. Right? Futo. Okay. I've had it. I bought some actually in a bakery on Van Horn. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. It's a, a, a rice cake. Yeah. Okay. So. But is that the one they put cheese on? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How about this one here? Yes. Oh, we yeah. dried mango. We have some probably yeah. in our basement. When oh. we went to the Philippines, one of the ladies that was friends of the family gave yeah. us a huge box full of dried mangoes. Especially that you've been to Cebu. Yes. 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 It was from popular. Cebu. Yes, yes. exactly. Yes. Well, easy. Now you got about uh, eight points. Yeah. points one more. I'm more. kicking. I'm kicking. <laughs> one more. <laughs> one more. Give me a challenge. Um, oh, how, about <laughs> your, hmm, how about this one here? Oh, we call yeah. it cornic. Uh, it's good with red horse. <laughs> red horse, exactly. <laughs> um, what's it called? The pork rinds? No. Is it pork rinds? No. no. These are uh, corn. Oh, no. Corn. I haven't yeah. had that one. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, speaking of... Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
This one, yes. My it. husband bought it. I bought what it sometimes it for though? him. Chicharon. Oh, oh, good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus, bonus. bonus. I <laughs> did. What is a big one here? I did, buy, I did buy a big box of these when I was pregnant the first time. Oh. And I bought these when I was sick in the Philippines also. <laughs> they were feeding me. All oh, right, so you win everything. <laughs> yeah. How about some Filipino words? All right. <laughs> you up for it? Sure. So the first word is... Um, you have uh, multiple choice. <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> is it a type of tea? It means thank you. Or C, is it the furniture? Thank Salama. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the next word is patis. Patis. Is it a carpet? Fish sauce. Oh. How about this one? Kili kili. <laughs> kili kili. <laughs> mahal kita. Okay, well, I know mahal means like dear or it's like a term of endearment. Okay, so I'll give you multiple choice. Okay. okay. Is it, it means uh, delicious? I love you. Or is it the Filipino dialect? Okay, so it's, I love you. I got it. <laughs> Can you say I love you to her? Mahal kita. I think that's the best way to end our show. Thank you so much, guys. I had so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Issue pa rin ang interracial marriage sa marami. Subalit ang mag-asawang Romel at Vicky ay hindi nakaranas ang panlalait o pagtutol mula sa kanilang pamilya mga kaibigan at lipunan. Kaya't masaya ang kanilang pagsasama. Napapalaki nila ang kanilang mga anak sa isang tahanan na may pagmamahalan at pagpapalaga sa kanilang magkaibang kaugalian at kultura. Wala tayong karapatan na husgan ang dalawang taong nagmamahalan dahil sa pagkakaiba ng kanilang kulin ng balat o lahi. Ito ay kanilang karapatan na hindi dapat hadlangan ng sinuman. Ito po si Michael Davantes at ito ang aking kwento. Don't forget to join our weekly contest. For more details, go to www.mabuhaymontrealtv.ca. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Women always want to look nothing less than perfect. To give us tips on how to look fab and gorgeous with just a few strokes, we have Criselda Alzate with a professional makeup artist for her beauty tips. Let's watch this. Kasama ko ngayon si Tanika Kwan. Siya isang professional makeup artist at nandito siya para ibahagi sa atin ang kanyang kaalaman tungkol sa makeup. Hi, my name is Tanika. I graduated from La Salle College. Um, I always been creative and makeup really express my feeling uh, for the love of colors and creative arts. So for your canvas, we have our model, Ms. Kendra Aureliano. So how are we going to proceed? So first, we're going to start off with a concealer. What a concealer does is to set the eyeshadow to make it last longer. So can you please close your eyes? Thank you. Okay. So basically, it is used to make the eye makeup last longer? Yes. And right after the concealer, um, we're going to put a loose powder on top of it. Okay. So right after the, um, the concealer, the powder, now we can play with the colors for the, for the eyes. Okay. So since we're doing it for Valentine, what I'm going to do on her is a gold and purple look. Oh, perfect. All right. These are my two favorite brushes. The first one is a round fluffy brush. The second one is exactly the same thing, but it's more shorter and it's more a little bit more stiff. So basically this stuff is, the smaller one is used to? To um, apply, okay. yes. And the okay. second one is to blend. Yeah. Let's start off with a purple color. The purple color, I'm gonna put it from the middle um, lid from to the outside. So starting from here to the outside. And then, with a big fluffy flush, brush, I'm just gonna brush yeah. and blend. Yeah. So right after this color, we're gonna put some gold. In the gold color, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. 
Yeah. So right after the gold and the purple, we're going to put some brown color, mm -hmm. some dark brown. And what I'm going to do here is a outer V. So you're going to do a V here and a V here. So once that's done, you can put the eyeliner. Great. My favorite part. <laughs> wing it. So what do I recommend is a gel liner. Here I got a Makeup Forever Aqua Black. Um, I really love it. It's go on really smoothly. It's not dry at all. Mm -hmm. Or you could use the classic one, a pencil um, black eyeliner. So to wing, you're gonna, she's going to close her eye. You're going to pull right here. Mm -hmm. Then pull her eyebrow on top. You have a steady hand and you're going to wing it. First, since she has some redness on her skin, we're going to use some green corrector. So we're going now to the concealing part. Exactly, yeah. So here, put a green. Don't worry about it. You're not going to look green at the end. This is just to hide the redness. So anywhere that you see redness, you're just going to go over and you're going to use the dabbing motion. So after the green uh, concealer, you, you're using the... The skin color, um, like a tan color, for to just to go over on top of it, just to mask it a little bit, so it won't show through um, the foundation. And sometimes um, concealer is also for um, under eye circle. Like right here, yeah. she has some, so we're just gonna put it in, under her eyes. And now, what I'm gonna do, since I'm done with um, concealing, I will put foundation. Great. So here, I'm just gonna use a foundation and a foundation brush. Exact same motion, you're just gonna dab. Dab it, yeah. yeah. And never forget to blend all the way to the neck. Um, just like the eyes, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it. But this time, we're gonna set it with a loose powder that has a tint color of it. So here I have a whole bunch of colors. Just pick the one that fits more to your tone. So right after this, we're gonna go on contouring, blush, and highlights. So you're gonna go, and it's not going straight down, but you wanna do a lift. So when you do a lift, you're creating that apple cheek right oh, here. Great. And if you have any roundness at the jawline right here, you can just mask it. Just going downward like this, and then sideways. Right after that, you could put some blush. Since for her, she's fair skin, any blush will look great on her. But if you're dark skin, you will go between brown and a peach color. So for her, you're gonna go... You can use like pink. Yes. A bubble gum pink will look nice, absolutely nice. I'm just gonna put a highlight. The highlight is really just to highlight the cheekbone. So you just want to put it under the eyes like this. And now what we're going to do is the eyebrow and the mascara. I'm just going to use a taupe color and a dark brown. So I'm just going to use this. So can you please look here? All right, stay like that. And you wanna do small stroke of mascara for your lashes. Now, since the mascara is done, we're gonna do the lips. And before we finish with the lips, we're gonna do the nose, the nose contouring. So here, what we're gonna do is put on the side of the nose to make it slimmer. Appear narrower. Yes. And then we're gonna put a highlight, the same highlight that we use for the cheekbone. We're gonna put it on the bridge of the nose. And for the lips, we are gonna use a lip pencil to define the heart shape and to plumb up the bottom. And then we're gonna go with a lipstick. 
you could you will always have to use the same lip color to the lip pencil. So this is now the Valentine's Day look. Yep, and we can call it done. There you have it. Isn't she gorgeous? Thank you, Tamika, and thank you, Kendra. Sana lahat ng aming mga beauty tips ngayon ay nakatulong sa ating mga viewers. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment on Facebook, and I'll see you next time. The Philcon Lodge, Mason, had their nighting and induction at the Sheraton Hotel. Feli Carino was at this event. Can you kindly define your organization? Because not everybody knows about the uh, Philcon Lodge. We are uh, good men who became better. And this is an organization of good men under the fatherhood, fatherhood of God. Um, all our uh, members are... Uh, very religious. We do not uh, care for religion as long as they believe in one God. So the equivalent for this is we are a group of men under the fatherhood of God. How do you recruit your members? Um, uh, for uh, a Freemason, we do not recruit uh, members. If they want to become a Freemason, to become, uh, uh, they are good men, to become better, they have to ask somebody uh, they have to ask one to be one. How about women? This is a men's fraternity, but we have uh, we have some um, uh, affiliate uh, organizations in which they accept men and women, just like uh, the Eastern Star. Or for the women, they have this. For the young women, they have the Job's Daughter or the Daughters of the Nile. It's in the Philippines that we should know who are members of the Masun. For the cradle of heroes, we have uh, Jose Rizal, Juan Luna, and the likes. But currently, uh, at present time, we have the past uh, or retired Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines in the person of uh, Chief Justice Renato Puno and uh, the, PN the current PNP Chief right now in the, in the Philippines is also a Freemason. You are a service organization. What have you done or what are you intending to do for this disaster in the Philippines? Right now, uh, the master of the Grand Lodge of Quebec has authorized the uh, Philcon Lodge number 137 to, to collect some uh, monetary uh, aid from all the lodges in the province of Quebec, which will soon be uh, given to uh, the Grand Lodge of the Philippines uh, soon. There will also be uh, an auction that we are planning right now to raise some more money for the uh, victims of the Typhoon Haiyan. Nagbabalik po tayo sa ating interaction at chikahan with Michael and Derwin. Magandang gabi sa inyong dalawa. Hi, Tenny. Hello, Hello. Tenny. By the way, thank you nga pala at sinadjust mo sa akin to listen to Pinoy, radio.com, kasi... You know, um, I've been in Canada for a long time, kaya medyo hindi na ako updated sa mga artists natin. Lalo't lalo pa na ang mga Pilipino is well-known talaga sa larangan ng musika at kantahan, di ba? Oo, pagdating sa kantahan, ang Filipino is world-class. Yes, and recently I just saw a international contest held in the States uh, on YouTube where all the contestants, all the Filipino contestants basically won all the categories, male, female, wow. children. Yes, we're really talented when it comes to singing. I have seen that, Tenny. Dapat panoorin mo yun dahil talagang nakakabilib. Umaribay yung mga Pilipino, like lahat talaga nakuha, lahat ng categories na panoorin mga Pilipino. And speaking of YouTube, maraming mga Pilipino di ba ang na-discover na sa YouTube? Oo, maraming na-discovery, especially si Charisse Pempenko, na-discovery mm. ni Ellen. Hi, Ellen. And then yes. sa yung isang lead singer ng Journey, si Arnel Pineda, he's really good. E ikaw, meron ka bang na -discover? Kobre sa YouTube? Oh, actually sa Facebook, I was browsing. May nadiskubre ako sa lalaki from, uh, I think he's from Visaya. He's uh, Brian Magsayo. Brian. He's really good. He's covering all the songs, uh, noon pa, ng Air Supply, Scorpions. He's really talented. Anong pangalan niya ulit? Brian Magsayo. Tingnan nga natin kung sino ito. I began to lose control
Abang Galinga, parang si uh, Jovit uh, Baldivino ba yun? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Jovit, yes. And uh, he was here in Montreal uh, having this uh, rock on concert with Yen Constantino and Marcelito, Marcelito Pomoy. Yes, and they, they were absolutely wonderful. It's really nice that Montreal is bringing in some talents from the Philippines para nga maging updated tayo. Kasi ako talaga, parang stuck ako kila Ray Valera at yung Asin. You know, oh. it's, been, it's been a while. Actually, I think uh, every twice a year, may mga producers na nagdadala ng mga local artists galing ng Pilipinas papunta dito. And uh, talagang yung mga tao dito, um, uh, we they appreciate like, it. Yeah, they really appreciate. That's good. Kasi ako talaga, other than as I've said, you know, those old artists, yung mga half Pinoy na mga singers ang kilala ko, like si Enrique Iglesias, Oh, uh, and then si Bruno Mars. Exactly. Yeah, ang nanay niya is Pilipina who just won the Grammy Award. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At uh, Nicole Scherzinger. Yes. Diba? Sa Pussycat Dolls. So it's really nice. Kaya, um, as I've said again, once again, you know, thank you so much for suggesting me to listen to PinoyRadio.com. And yes, salamat po sa lahat ng nakikinig sa buong mundo sa PinoyRadio.com. I love Filipino music. Nag-iiwan po kami ng magandang gabi at happy weekend everyone. I feel the empty hand.